But yeah. but but see, Islam Islam was developed by the Illuminati, it, and, and yeah. the Illuminati was developed by the Vatican. So the Vatican is behind Islam. As a matter of fact, a lot of people don't know this. Uh, Islam is a corporation in London. And it's on the <laughs> London. Yeah, no, serious. No, it is. It's on the London Stock Exchange. You go yeah. to the London Stock Exchange and look up the stocks of the uh, of the major, what they call the major corporations, the big, yeah. big ones. And one of the biggest one is Islam Incorporated. It's a, it's a religious corporation called a called a uh, uh, corporation Soul. And it's a company. It's a business. Oh, Soul, like Soul, as in like the S O L E Corporation Soul. Have you ever heard the word Corporation Soul? No, I haven't heard that. Yet. Okay, write this down. Yeah. It's called Corporation Soul. S O L E. What that is, it's it's uh, it's <clears throat> it's hard to explain. But um, are you by your computer right now? No, I'm not. I'm okay. Not. What a corporation soul is? It's uh, it was developed by the Vatican mm -hmm. back in the eighth, ninth, and tenth century. <clears throat> it became a very, very popular in Europe about the tenth century with the Knights Templars. They set up something called a corporation soul, and what it is, it's a uh, it's a position. It's it's a it's a position in politics. Um, it's a corporation, but it's called corporation soul because because it's an office. <clears throat> the United States, the president of the United States. It doesn't matter who's in there at the time. Mm -hmm. But there is a, but there is a position in power called the president of the United States. And it, you know, and so whoever it happens to be in there at the time, it doesn't matter who the president is. But there's an office called President of the United States. Yes, yes. And so there's always some some dumbass fuck is in there doing something. <laughs> there's always some dumbass fuck in there doing something, you know. And uh, but it doesn't matter who's in there. What matters is it's an actual office, and there has to be somebody in there continually. Some dumbass. And so, all right, well, the President of the United States office is called in law a corporation soul, meaning it's oh. an office. It's an office, uh, an official office, like in, like in the Catholic Church. There is an office called cardinals, and there may be different cardinals. Some die and some new ones coming in, and the others die and some new ones coming in. But there is an office in the Catholic Church called Cardinals. So there's always some Cardinals there. Mm -hmm. There's also an office called Pope. And there's always going to be somebody in there who's Pope. But it doesn't matter who's in there. It's the office that's called the Pope. The Pope. And, uh, and then there's also an office in there called Priest. So they're going to have priests coming in and priests going, priests dying, priests coming in. And they usually have an their own office. Bank. Yeah, but uh, but I'm talking about right. an office. Yes, an I know. office. Yes. Okay, that's why a police the the cops are called police officers because they are not, they are uh, working in an office, police mm -hmm. officer, and the office is a corporation soul, meaning it's a it's a company designation of an office, and when that office always has different people coming in and going, but it doesn't matter. How many people come in to president and how many people go out doesn't matter. It's still an office of government called the President of the United States. And so uh, there's also an office called congressman. So there's a lot of people come in to be congress and they die and they leave and other people come in, but they're always called congressman because that's the office. Well, you can set up Americans can set up a corporation soul. They're the only people in the world <clears throat> that can uh, that our ordinary citizen can set up a corporation soul. Around the world, only only the uh, royalty and only the wealthy and most powerful people around the world can set up a corporation soul. But in America, because of the Constitution, the way it was written, 
Americans, uh, U.S. citizens, have the right to set up a corporation soul. That's, it's strange, but that's the way the Constitution was read, so that we have in America the ability to set up a corporation soul. Anybody can. Now, when you set up a corporation soul, what that means is that you're setting up an office. You're setting up an office, and you're going to call that office whatever you want to call it. Uh, you know, as you, whatever it is, whatever term you can, I'll tell you where to go read all about it. But the point is, once you set up that office and get the paperwork done to the State Department, the United States State Department, you set up the office, and now you control that office. So therefore, the corporation soul, you now have one, and it's an office, and it's called the Jamel Research Society or whatever. Uh, and whatever you call it, and then right, it's right. there. Now it's there forever. It can never be un, undone. It can never undo it. It's there forever. It doesn't mean that it has to have anybody in it. No, it doesn't have to have anybody in it. But the, but the office still is there. And so once you set up the office, you can take your home, your car your family, your anything and everything of any value, and you give it to the office. You dedicate it to the office. And at that point, you no longer own it forever. It's gone from you. You no longer own your home, your car, nothing. But the the office of the research society, or uh, whatever it is you call it, now owns everything. And, and you don't own anything. <clears throat> And so it's a corporation of sorts, but it's called a corporation soul because there's only one person who has control over that uh, new office, and that's you. So you have control over the office, but you don't own it, and you don't own nothing in it. It owns everything. You own nothing, but you control the office. So therefore, what that means is that you put your home in the corporation soul, and it does. You know, you can do this easy. Just go down to the state department, go down to the state building in your city, <clears throat> go to the Department of Corporations, go to the Department of Corporations at the state level in your city, and tell them you want to set up a corporation soul, and they will go back and get the paperwork and the and the and the uh, applications. And then you, you can sit right there, right there, and fill it all out, the name of your corporation, what it's going to be called, and who's going to be in charge of it, that's you, and, and this and that, and whatever it asks you to do, you fill it out. And then in about two weeks, you'll get a letter back from the state saying that your corporation soul is now registered, and you now have a corporation soul. At that point, you then put your your car into the corporation soul, you give it to the corporation soul, you give your house, your business, your cat, whatever the fuck you got, put it all <laughs> in yeah. the corporation soul, right? Yeah. Now, at that point, at that point, nobody can ever touch anything inside a corporation soul. Nobody. The United States federal government and God cannot touch anything inside a corporation soul. Because they can only take something from a person, and you are the person, but you don't own shit. The corporation soul owns it, and that's under Vatican maritime law, and nobody can touch a corporation soul anywhere. Not world government, not the World Bank, not the U.S., nobody can touch a corporation soul, period. So therefore, whatever you got, your business, your car, your house, whatever it is, it's locked in, and no one can ever touch it. No one can tax it. Nobody can do anything to it, period. It's, it's, nobody can touch it. It's in a corporation's soul. So I'm just saying, uh, I'll, I'll send you, <clears throat> I'll send you um, some information on that, and you just go look it up yourself. You just go look it up yourself, corporation soul. Yeah. And... Uh, the government will tell you, oh, yeah, you don't want to do that. No, you don't want to do that. And then you turn around and go to each one of the big corporations like General Electric, General Motors, the Vatican, uh, you know, New York Stock Exchange, all the big corporations in the world, and, and they will tell you, all of them are corporations sold. 
And so therefore I say, uh, you know, the government is telling you on the, on the web, oh, you don't want to do that. No, no, stay away from that corporation. So that's bad business. Well, if it's so bad, how come every fucking goddamn organization on the goddamn face of the earth is a corporation soul? All the big shots, all the big multi-billionaires are all corporation soul. The Donald Trumps, Steven Spielbergs, the George Lucases, the Disney Corporation, all of them are corporation souls. And yet, here's the government telling me, little old me, I ain't got shit. Oh, you want to stay away from that? Well, fuck you, stay away from that. Won't you tell Steven Spielberg to stay away from that? Yeah, they love no, it. No, no, no. The, they, yeah, they, the they, reason why they tell you to stay away from it, because like, like the church is telling you to stay away from astrology. They don't want you to know what the big boys know. Yeah, That's they're good. The at, they're, they're, George, you don't even got to tell me that. I know, I, I mean, I've been through so much uh, fucking, you know, for, <clears throat> I didn't really come out of, I didn't come onto the public until the last year. But for like the last 10 years, I mean, five of those years, I went through the sovereign stuff with the courts and, back and forth and back and forth. and finally I just got sick of it and just left it alone but yep me you know, too I, I know you're they, right they like to tra- like give me your name no I'll tell you my name but I won't give it to you it's that <laughs> you you know they they fuck you over as much as they can whenever they can oh yeah but mm-hmm. this corporation soul this is a bombshell for me I never even knew yeah, about it yeah yeah write it down write yeah. it down now there's also a book out there a couple of books yeah uh and uh, and the books uh, one of the books you will see a catholic cardinal on mm-hmm. the face of the book. It's a very famous book. Uh, and so go on the web and go to Image. <clears throat> you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, Google Images. Uh, Google Image, and then type in Corporation okay. Soul. Cool. And it will be, a, and the uh, first thing will pop up is a picture of the book. There's a book put out by the Vatican showing a cardinal on the face of the book. And the name of the book is Corporation Soul. And it explains how the Vatican, through and and and, uh, and British maritime admiralty law, set up something back in the 10th century called corporation soul. And the Pope is a corporation soul. The Queen of England is a corporation soul. Prince Charles is a corporation soul. Uh, King Faisal in Arabia, corporation soul. All of the big names, the Donald Trumps, the corporations, all the big names are corporation soul. Yeah. Why? Nobody can touch them. That's why they can piss on you, rip you off, do anything they want to do, and you can't touch them because they don't own nothing, ain't got nothing, and don't have nothing. So nobody's going to be able to sue them because they ain't got nothing. Yeah. But they control the world. Why? Because the, their world is in a corporation's soul. Yeah. Now now this makes sense to me why people don't really do no jail time after after they you know after, after yeah, that's right you know when they kill a uh they kill a village they kill a whole village to build a pipeline over in nigeria somewhere but nobody does any time behind it now it makes sense why but because the yeah. corporation is in a corporation's soul yeah and the vatican and british maritime law hmm. has locked that in on the earth so you know, all over the world powerful people have quietly unbeknownst to anybody, uh, set up a corporation soul for themselves. So now they can do whatever they want. You can't touch them. Jordan, speaking of the Vatican money, um, you remember Robert Calvi, the God's banker? Oh, God, yeah, 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 Roberto Calvi. Yeah, Roberto Calvi. Yeah, check this shit out. Um, Mark Lane, right, the guy at the Jones, the dude, you know Mark Lane and all that, right? Okay, yeah, when, I he, know all about him. when he was in Jonestown, all that happened. He had Terry, a woman named Terry Buford, pregnant in his home in Tennessee. Terry Buford was the financial aid to the People's Temple, the Jonestown thing. And oh yeah. She was, in, I mean, these people had millions of dollars spread out in, a, in all kinds of different bank accounts all over the world. But one of the ones that was interesting was leading back to Panama, and it was under the name of Saint Peter. It was like it was in it was in Latin, but it was under the name of Saint Peter in, in uh, Panama. And it was connected to a guy named Archbishop Paul Monakis, who had like 12 ghost companies. Uh, yeah. He had like 12 ghost companies. <clears throat> yeah, but the thing is, he was, he was head of the, uh, the Vatican Bank, Paul, but, uh, Paul Marchinkas. Yeah, he was? Arch- yeah, Archbishop? he was head of, he was the, he was the president of the Vatican Bank called Paul Marchinkas. Yeah. And, uh. He now today, the last time I heard, was living in uh, uh, Arizona. 
He's got a, <laughs> oh, yeah, he lives in Arizona. He's got a huge, big, enormous estate in Arizona, and he plays golf every other day. And, uh, and, and every now and then he will go to the Vatican to say hello and wish everybody a happy new year and comes back and lives in his Vatican and lives in his, uh, enormous estate in Arizona, uh, as the president and the chairman of the board of the Vatican bank. And, uh, but he grew up in Chicago and his best friends were Al Capone and, and all these, uh, gangsters. Yeah. He's an yeah. Italian mafiosi. Yeah. 